Okay, I'm back. Well, okay, I got me another hot dog, another piece of bread on my plate, <coughs> and I'm going to carry it over there, carry the <coughs> tripod over there, <coughs> and uh, show, try to show the cooking. And um, this time, I'm going to try doing... I'll try doing uh, two minutes when I'm going to leave the hot dog on top this time. So let's get my, let you see what's going on here. So there's the tr the rack. I'm using the rack that came with it. It's steel too. Chrome plated steel, which I didn't know you could have that in a microwave. But you can in this one. I don't know if it's made different or not. Maybe that's why the transformer sounds so loud, but I don't know. I've got my legs on my tripod fighting me here, but let's see if we can get by with it. Okay, so uh, grill. Where's my finger? One, two. I want the second one. Two minutes. Start. And I like that the light stays on so you can see in there. I'm in an awkward position, wouldn't you know that? At least I am sitting down. But, um, I'm not getting closer. Actually, yeah, you can. But there's no way I'm going to be able to hold that position for uh, two full minutes. I know it's not heavy, but I'm old and tired. It's isometric exercise. I should do more of it, right? Okay, so I'll wait till it gets a little closer. Or if I see it looking like it's doing anything. And then if the bread seems too soggy or anything, then uh, that did make the bread get microwaved a little bit longer, but it stood it a while ago. So if anyway, if the bread's in, if it's not toasty enough for me, then I'll just do boil a couple more times. So it's got uh, 33 seconds left. Yeah, I can leave it right there. You hear all that noise it makes. It sounds like a factory. But I'm sure it has switches and electric, electronic, electromagnet switches and little transformers are cutting in and out and, or the transformer. I, I've heard doing maintenance work over the, since 1975 on and off. I've heard all kinds of different transformers and these are pretty loud and um, but sometimes they make buzzing noises when they're about to go out too. Well that's almost toasty and that's hot. Ow! Hurt myself. I'm going to shut that and go around here and put my camera where I want to have it while I'm eating and then um, get it out. Okay, this is good. Whoops. There. Okay. Yeah, the bread's dry. The bottom side won't be dry. Oh, it's actually wet. Okay, before I go any further, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to dry up that wet bread. I don't like that. It won't hurt that hot dog. It's not didn't begin to get toasty or anything. So now I'm just gonna boil the bread for a little bit. I 
did grill one minute and I'll watch it and see. still wet. Well, I kept hitting the wrong buttons. Before this one did that too. Okay, now it's dried out, which is what I wanted for my bread. I thought I was gonna start to get something out, and the hot dog still just burnt. It's been in the broiler longer than hard anything they could tell. Let's see what it tastes like. Up in my napkin. Okay. Luckily, my side dishes are refrigerated, so it could just sit there and wait on me. It wasn't getting cold or anything. I had some refrigerated salads, my broccoli and my apple stuff. Tastes better than the first one. The bread's a little dry, but I'd rather it be dry than soggy. So considering it's all done in the microwave, not too bad. You just have to practice. But convenience-wise, you can put that bread in the toaster. One problem I have in the toaster is ever getting the, the amount of time right. I either under, I usually overdo it, but. Um, you know, the toaster oven will do top and bottom at the same time. So you can have that in there. About the time that goes off, turn on your hot dog for a minute or a minute and a half or whatever, and you're done. If, and since you have to do it in two steps, it seems to me slower than doing it the other way.
you know, trying to recover from that bread being so but it's sitting down on the plate it got really moist, wet. So my first way would have been better. Put the bread on top of the hot dog so it doesn't get too extra moist. It's not sitting there trapping all that moisture in front of you know on the, on the plate. And then flip it, do it once and then flip it, do it for a minute. What did I do? No, I did two minutes. Figure out your time. I did two minutes. This time I did two minutes combination and then ended up doing two minutes just boiling. But you might be able to do a minute and a half combination and then a minute or, minute or two minutes boiling for just for the bread. The other thing that I thought of it might be good for is uh, chicken pot pies. You know how they, I mean they have pretty cool little boxes. And the Marie Collins of them have pretty good boxes that make them cook it better than they used to, but the top never gets, gets uh, right. You know, it's always gooey and sticky. So you might be able to rip that lid off the box like they tell you to do. I don't do anything but open one end of it. At least that's what I get. I've seen think people do that, rip the top out of the box. Or open it up and then, oh you can't use the box in the boil. Well, scratch that. Because you can't boil that box. It'll burn. Yeah, it's just a whole new thing. I mean, is it a good is it a wondrous thing or just a toy that I'll get tired of. I don't know. We'll see. I've got a feeling unless I can find some shortcut ways to make it work, it'd be more trouble than using a toaster oven and a microwave in combination. Which I kind of thought when I was looking at it. But it had better reviews, less less uh, DOAs and set you on fire than the other brands that cost more. And it had an extra feature, so I thought I'd try it. The microwave, I mean. It's dry. It's a little too dry, the bread. But the hot dog tastes better this time. Interesting. Well, this is done. And that's my first try. But, uh, if I'm in the camera or not, I have to boiling and microwaving with this RCA microwave boiler combo. That one right there. Alright, bye bye.